Hi, my name is Dr. Andrew Lipton. And I'm Ashley Rhodes, nurse practitioner. We're here at Narbor Family Medicine today, and we'd like to talk to you about stem cell therapy, something that we've been offering here for the last couple years and have been gaining lots of interest online, on social media, and I want to answer some questions you may have about it. Stem cells are the cells in our body that help us heal and repair. If we have an injury to our body, say we scrape our knee, the body, the first thing it does is send some blood cells there called platelets, and the platelets stop the bleeding. And as the platelets heal the bleeding and stop the body from bleeding out, they liberate some chemicals that tell the body, hey, there may be an infection here, and then white blood cells come. And the chemical signals then cause stem cells to come in and repair. And within moments to hours and days, the stem cells heal and repair, and you have new skin there. This happens to every cell in the body, whether it be your stomach cell or heart cells or skin cells. And if we did not have stem cells, we would not heal and repair. So the procedure to, to basically get stem cells out of your body is relatively a, easy a harvesting procedure. We can get them from a small amount in your blood, a large amount in your fat, and in your bone marrow. And we prefer to get them out of the fat cells because most people have a little bit of extra fat they're willing to give up. So basically, like Dr. Lipton said, we make a small incision, usually in the abdomen, and we infiltrate fluids with some numbing medicine uh, so that it's not painful. And then we go in and we do a liposuction technique to extract the stem cells and the, the adipose tissue, which is fat tissue. And we have a whole procedure then in the lab that we extract the stem cells from the fat and then we can inject those stem cells anywhere in the body that you, the patient would like for to promote healing. We can give it IV um, or into any joint or tissue. This is the adipose, the fat, and this is the fluid that we sucked out as well. A lot of patients ask, does it hurt to, to get stem cells? The two main ways that we deliver stem cells are from the bone marrow, and that one hurts a little bit. It's an option. We prefer the adipose and it's a uh, numbing solution, so people get one tiny stick for the mm -hmm. numbing solution like you would at the dentist with Novocaine. And after that, most of the patients undergoing it basically tell us they feel a little tugging and pulling, and the whole procedure maybe takes 10 or 15 minutes. So the next step, we take the fat and we bring it into the lab. Rose will bring it into the hood where we have a confined area that's sterile. Uh, and so she can put her hands in there that are sterile and the air pushes out so nothing blows in. So if you <coughs> off her dust doesn't go in it's a sterile hood and she will rinse the blood uh, the, the blood out of the fat and rinse it and rinse it so we have a fat uh, only uh, solution there uh, half of which we're going to send off to storage at US stem cells where they will then process it just like we process it here today so the part that we're going to keep here we're then going to take the fat and process it we process it with a it takes about an hour and a half or so where we get a stem cell isolate and that's what we used for injection back into the joints or injection into wherever we want to use it. A lot of patients ask, well, what's the main way that we use these stem cells? Our most common patients are patients that have degenerative issues or neurodegenerative issues, uh, sometimes cosmetic issues, uh, most typically for cosmetic uh, face and scalp, uh, for hair regrowth. Uh, we've done treatments in, uh, you name the joint, we've treated it. The joint injection takes a few moments to perform and we can put a small amount of stem cells into multiple joints or we can deliver it back intravenously to affect the organs including the heart, the lungs, the liver, and kidney. So once we establish the stem cell isolate, depending where we inject it, those stem cells, if we put them into skin, are going to turn into skin. If we put them into muscle, they're going to turn into muscle. So ideally, we inject them directly into the injured area and the body then takes that stimulus and turns it into the type of cell that you need right there. What do you think? What, as far as the procedure of, uh, was it painful? Yeah. yeah. No, it wasn't painful, no. There's a couple points where you said ouch. Yeah, a couple points, mm -hmm. but they weren't so bad. Just not knowing what it is. Right, so we yeah. try to let people know and that's kind of the purpose of mm -hmm. interfering. Mm -hmm. You talked me through everything that was nice. I knew what was going on. It gave me some time limits, you know, a few more minutes of this, a few more minutes of that. So, you know, put you more at ease. How do you feel right now? Perfect.